Hello, this is Megan Longoria bringing you the solution video for Workout Wednesday for Power BI for 2022 week 29. We are creating a stream graph. Here we go. Of drought severity over the last couple of years in the continental United States. So we retrieved this data from the US Drought Monitor and they have a service in their website where you can just download the file. So I've already downloaded the file as a CSV and I'm gonna start with Power BI from there. So first, I'll clean this up a little bit. I don't need a couple of these columns. So we'll get rid of those. This data comes in with one column per drought level. So we are unpivoting. All my data types look good. I need to add a new query and I'm just making a date table. And since this is a static um, visualization, I can go ahead and customize it and put only the dates I need. So I've got beginning of 2020 to the end of 2022. I don't need a lot for this visualization. So I just went with year, month, month name, quarter, week of year. Kept it very simple. Make sure our date is indeed a date. Everything else is a number except month name, which is text, that all looks good. And then I have <clears throat> one more table to add um, to meet the requirements for the visualization. So I just made the table up myself by entering data and this is our drought category and the order in which we want to see the category. So it should be none is first, swipe zero, and then D0, one, two, three, and four. And that's the drought category order here. So we'll use that as a sort by in the model. Oh, I forgot one more sort by. I also wanted to order my regions. So I wanted to order them in what I felt was a logical way. And that is going from west to east. And so I just used an if statement. You can do the conditional column thing. Either way works as long as you order it where west is first and 
northeast is six. So there's our model with our three tables. We need to relate our drought category ID. And I related date to valid end date. So there's our relationships. I want to make sure drought category is sorted by and region is sorted by Just hide a few of these as a good practice. I think we're good. So I used a specific color palette <clears throat> that I made a theme for. I didn't specify that you had to use a particular color palette. What I did was take the plasma color palette from the Veritas theme colors. So I made the themes to be able to share with people there on GitHub. So I took Plasma and I added, I basically rearranged and added colors, modified it just slightly. So the first color is gray. And I chose Trebuchet for my font. And I did make my page background kind of a very light gray off-white. Then we, of course, need to go and get a visual to create our stream graph. And there is one from Microsoft. It is a certified custom visual. There is well, there's a couple drawbacks to this one, but this one is the easiest to do, and that's how I created my final product. So before I make that, I'm just going to copy over the additional things I decided to include. Then I can add my stream graph. And I'll put date as my category. And drought category as my group. Just giving it a nicer title.
making my legend a little larger there with slightly darker font. And I'm going to turn off my Y axis because I'm not interested in exact numbers. It's more about um, watching the change over time. We don't want data labels because they would just label the category here. So I'm adding one more measure here. And that's because I wanted a percentage to be shown so that I could click on any category and see what percentage it represented on the last date for which we have data. So on the last date, not sure what that was about, but that's fixed now. Um, on the last date, it was 28% abnormally dry, 30% none, 20% moderate drought, and there we have our stream graph. And now we can look at specific regions and see who was most affected. The Midwest looks affected, but mildly okay. This wave at the end looks pretty severe. Southeast, Northeast, the West, High Plains, South look the most affected. And that's it. Thanks for watching.